Uh, this is called diversity or the art of being you. So we're going to talk about how a different view of diversity because we all are able to uh, know the categories and, and the, the subcategories of diversity in terms of race, religion, sexual orientation, political affiliation, th those socioeconomic backgrounds. But this is going to be a creative look into the heart of diversity and in a very real uh, but soothing way uh, that will help people receive it a little bit better. I use diversity as an acronym. 90% uh, of the places I'm at are at universities and colleges, and a lot of the learning outcomes are within diversity. So we're going to go through direction, information, victory, education, rhythm, silence, integrity, time, and then you. So through each one of those words, the nine letters that we're going to go through, the nine words we're going to go through, are going to actually build around what diversity is really made up of, and then help people to, to be able to grasp it better. Because it can be daunting to say, I mean, to explain or to live through diversity without having a, a good understanding of what it can be in, in lives. Uh, you know, this, this is one of them. I also do a program called Just Because I Am Doesn't Mean What You Think But Never Say, which is extremely powerful, thought-provoking. Just I mean, from the aspect of, let's say, if, you know, just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I'm inferior, or just because I'm disabled doesn't mean that I'm not able to be a part of this society. So it, it's very powerful. It's uh, having an easy conversation about tough, tough topics. Uh, aside from that, uh, how to be the it, you know, which is a, a leadership program that's fun. And then uh, salsa leadership, which is the salsa life where people learn how to salsa dance while they're learning leadership principles. But again, salsa is an acronym that stands for supporting, acting, learning, striving, and accepting. The pressure of today's world uh, it's very daunting for students, for professors, for professionals, for people, uh, because there's so much pressure, as I said before, you know, to be perfect or to feel like you have to fit a certain mold. But I always tell people, you know, just be better today than you were yesterday. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, we just want to be better today than we were yesterday. And as long as we're doing that piece by piece, we'll get it together. You know, we're, we're all going to fall. That, that's just the way the universe is made up. Uh, but nothing says we can't get up.